You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, bananas. Bananas are a fruity miracle. They're colorful and nutritious, not to mention the amusing shape is easy to hold, peel, and eat. Bananas also contain three natural sugars, sucrose, fructose, and glucose, combined with a healthy dose of fiber. When a hungry person eats a banana, they receive an almost instant and sustained boost of vigor. Research has proven that just two bananas provide enough energy for a strenuous 90-minute workout. This is why bananas are the favorite fruit of Olympic athletes. In fact, compared to an apple, a banana has four times the protein, twice the carbohydrates, three times the phosphorus, five times the vitamin A and iron, and twice the other minerals. It is also rich in potassium and is one of the most affordable fruits around. So maybe it's time to change that well-known proverb to a banana a day keeps the doctor away. Studies have shown that bananas can also help overcome or prevent a substantial array of illnesses and conditions ranging from depression, heartburn, and anemia to stroke and morning sickness. Around the world, different parts of the banana plant are used for clothing, paper, and tableware, and the skin of the banana is used to heal everything from insect bites to warts. Indeed, the banana appears almost perfectly designed for human consumption and distribution. It's difficult to conceive of a more practical blueprint for the ideal fruit. Have you noticed the banana has no seeds? Amazingly, the banana is a mutant. It's the result of the cross-pollination of two almost inedible Asian fruits. The banana is a freakish genetic amalgamation one that has survived through the centuries due to the sustained intervention of diligent humans. These fragile fruits can only be cloned from suckering shoots and cuttings taken from the underground stem of existing plants. Over time, Arab traders carried the new wonder fruit to Africa, and Spanish conquistadors brought them to the Americas. So, if you have ever pictured Adam and Eve savoring bananas in the Garden of Eden, you better think again. Bananas only happen through man participating with God's creation. This is also true regarding the fruit of the Spirit. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. John chapter 15 and verse 5. I wonder what types of fruit will be on the tree of life in heaven. Our key Bible text today is Revelation chapter 22 and verse 2. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.